Hey guys. So, like that move right there? Yeah, I liked it too. So, I wanted to talk about the Secret Life of Damon Spinelli, my thoughts about it, the format of the book, why you should buy it, um, that kind of thing. Um, and that it's a collector's item. And not to say that General Hospital is next to be canceled after All My Children and One Life to Live, because I did hear about that yesterday. And as a soap opera fan, even though I don't watch those shows, I could definitely sympathize because, you know, one goes, they all go. And, um, you know, now we'll, you know, after that, there'll only be four left. And it really is a dying genre. And we got to do everything we can to stop that. We got to, you know, bring soap operas back to their power. So, ooh, raw. But, um, enough tangents. I'm going to have a video about how you can save your soap coming up, like, if not today, then tomorrow. So, watch out for that. But not, like, in a scary way. I didn't mean to, like, watch out, but, like, yeah. I'm on chapter four, and basically, my thoughts about it so far is that it's great. I mean, it's got everything that a general hospital fan would love to read about. Um, the language in it is really well done. Carolyn captured the voice perfectly of, like, that film the war, uh, Maltese Falcon, Sunset Boulevard, and Spinelli's interpretation of himself as one of those types of detectives is really spot on. There's some really good parts of it. There's some really quirky parts. You're just like, I wouldn't imagine Spinelli saying things like that. But you're glad they're there. And the mysteries are great. Like, it's really fun seeing all the characters involved in one way or another. So each chapter is a mystery. And it has something to do with either, like, Carly or Edward one of the characters and he goes out on some kind of you know adventure to find a missing person or whatever I'm actually thinking it would be a great web series like if ABC really wanted to they could you know make a you know, five to eight minute web series of each mystery and it'd be fun to see the characters sort of act sort of act out these mysteries and it's just really fun I mean you know I'll show you the inside here it's got the fun font and it's a really easy read you know, I read a few chapters and I just, I've been so busy with studying that I haven't really been able to read as much as I wanted to, but I definitely recommend you go out and buy it. And it's doing really well, like on the New York Times, I think it's like number 10, and on Amazon list, it's like the top 100 or top 50 or something like that. So the book is selling really well, hope increase those sales, sales. Um, so I'm just sitting here reading this and I'm eating a muffin and I'm snuggling it up on my... General Hospital blanket, you know, isn't that fun? Don't you wish you had a General Hospital blanket? I do, so maybe you'll find it on eBay one of these days. But anyways, I want to keep this video short and to the point, so go and buy the book, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.